Bro, I can't believe I literally just caught this trade on camera. What is good, my people? We are back again with another gem. Listen, today I'm going to be showing you guys my biggest trading day I've ever had in my entire life, and I recorded it all live. I cannot believe that I actually got this on camera. This was the craziest trade I've ever taken in my entire freaking life. And in this video, I truly believe it's gonna be able to change a lot of you guys' lives. Just seeing how I operated, seeing how I was able to hold this trade, giving you guys a specific technique that allow you to make way more money than you're, than you're used to making. I'm telling y'all, this is a certified banger. If you're not already, I would definitely suggest you hit that subscribe button and smash the like button because you're not going to want to miss any of my videos. I come out with consistent bangers, but you already knew this. Also, I suggest that you guys follow me on Instagram over there at Juver underscore. I'm on there posting trades. I'm on there if you guys have any questions. I'm, I try and be as open as I can in my DMs to help you guys out. But anyways, let's just hop right into this video. So a little prerequisite. -requ requisite? What the heck is the word? I don't know. Before we I, show, I hop into the actual live video, let me tell y'all exactly what I was thinking, right? So I saw this morning, I'm trading NG, which is natural gas. I'm trading futures contracts. This morning, I usually know that NG reverses around 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. So I decided to wake up early today. I usually do not wake up early. I, well, I wake up at like 7.30 most days. But today, I decided to wake up at 6.15, somewhere around there. Because I have to pray, meditate, read my Bible, all that before I go and look at charts. Because I wanted to be at my desk for 7 o'clock. And exactly when I got to my desk at 7 o'clock, well, a little bit before 7 o'clock, I saw this setup occurring. I saw my specific strategy occurring. And I knew, I knew it was going to be a, a calm trade. I knew it was going to be a valid trade. But I didn't know it was going to be this crazy. You know what I'm saying? I use my super scalping strategy. If you guys don't know, I, I teach you guys all my strategies. If you, if you want to learn how to trade exactly like me, all my strategies. If you're a complete beginner and don't even know how to trade, I have courses as well. Link for it is inside the bio is gemifyacademy.com. If you're a complete beginner, the Forex 101 um, course is perfect for you. It'll teach you everything you need to know. But if you want to know all my strategies, how I use my strategy is to absolutely just steal from the market every freaking day, get the profitable strategies course. That one has been changing people's lives. All of my students are just freaking in love with it. I'll put screenshots all up. I can literally put screenshots for the rest of the freaking video, honestly, of people just making money with it. But I use one of the strategies that's inside of that strategies course. I saw the seven come. I knew it was going to be a banger, but I did not know it was going to be this much of a banger. So I hope you guys are ready for this. You know what I'm saying? We're about to hop into this video. You guys can see exactly when I'm hopping in the trade, how I'm reacting reacting during the trades so you guys can see how you should be reacting during trades to help you make way more money than you're used to making and without further ado let's hop right into this live trading video i'm usually never up this freaking early uh, i woke up at 6 30 this morning because i noticed on ng um and i was telling my students about this ng usually reverses around um seven o'clock every single morning um, so that's kind of what I'm playing on. It's on a huge, uh, support zone right now. I have my other chart over here, but, um, yeah, it's bouncing off of here. I got an aggressive early entry here, um, but I'm really only going for a couple pips. So I'm not really stressed about it, but well, not a couple pips, a couple ticks. All right. So we're at this trend line that it had. If we break this trend line, I'm pretty confident in it. Um, it just touched it, kind of bounced off of a little bit. So we'll see if it breaks. If it breaks it, I'll be extremely happy and I'll feel super confident about it. So it looks like it's struggling over here at this trend line, um, but it isn't rejecting it too heavy. So I'm still, I'm still gonna hold on to it because not we haven't had a heavy rejection yet. All right, we broke it. We got a nice break above it. Um, I need a bigger push though, personally, for me to feel super confident about this. We have a beautiful close above it. Beautiful close above it and it's still pushing. We're getting close to our take profit one, our first take profit zone. We're going to see how it reacts off of this yellow line right here. When it gets here, um, if I get heavy reversal off it, I'll hop out the trade. Take profit one absolutely freaking smashed. We'll see how it reacts to this zone right now. We're at 5,500. We have, hopefully we get a nice close above this zone. I'm looking at take profit two as well, hopefully. So it doesn't really look like it's rejecting our take profit one, which is nice. We have a close above it on the Hakanashi candlesticks. Um, hopefully this thing continues to push to TP two, then we'll see how it reacts there. It's pushing up now. We're at TP two. 
up 8,000 right now. I'm holding this until it, the candlestick closes. I'm holding this until the candlestick, the candlestick cut, um, changes colors. As soon as I get a red candlestick, I'm hopping out. It's breaking through TP2. We're up 8,000. Let's see how it reacts on this. I would love for a close, for us to get a close above TP2. That's what I personally love, but at that point, I'm getting greedy. I'm closing it. As soon as I see a red candlestick, I'm closing it because we've hit full type take profit now. So everything is just extra. It's breaking it. We're up 10,000. If we get a close above this, I'll feel super, super nice. But it looks like it's losing some volume here. So it might be slow. Might be pretty slow. Never mind. It's pushing 13, 14, 15, 16. What the? F is there news? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 17? Is there new? What time is it? There's no news. Why is it pushing like this? What the? F Why is it pushing like this? Should I close it? Nah, I'ma see. If we get a heavy reverse, I'm closing it. Anything, I was supposed to hop out the trade down here. So anything right now is extra. This was an $8,000 trade. We're at $16,000 in profit right now. I'm not closing it until I see a red candlestick. I'm not closing until I see a red candlestick. I'm holding it. I'm a diamond hand this thing, man. I don't know why it's pushing like this. There's no news. There's no news. There's no news nowhere. We have news later on. We have news in about nine minutes, but it shouldn't be affecting the market right now. All right, so we're losing out on some volume here. But that's what I said last time. Then it literally just shot up. As soon as the candlestick turns red, I'm hopping out. As soon as I see a red candlestick, I'm hopping out. Cause anything, this, y'all gotta understand, down here is my, was my original take profit. So anything above it, I'm happy with. It looks like we're losing um, volume now. We're down to 15,000, which is still more than that 8,000. So I'm really not stressing it. If this next candlestick turns red, I'll, I'll happily close it. Yeah, we lost volume. If this candlestick turns red, I'm hopping into it. But well, I'm exiting out of this. Sorry, not hopping into it. What the f- What the f- What's going- Bro. Bro, what is- What's happening? Where is all this volume coming from? We still have not seen a red candle yet. I'm being greedy right now, but I told myself I'm not closing until I see a red candlestick. I gotta stick to my word. I told myself I'm not closing until I see a red candlestick. Bro. <sighs> All right, so we've lost, this is probably the candlestick where it turns red, I'm not gonna lie to you. We've lost a whole bunch of freaking volume. Um, we have a small candlestick now. Yeah, and we're breaking below. So now we have a shot on the bottom. I might close this. Uh, if it turns red, I have to wait for it to turn red. That's my freaking rule. <sighs> That's my rule. I gotta stick to it. It's still green, well white in my case. This is probably where it turns red. Yeah, it's starting to turn red. I should, I should, well, I have to wait for it to close. If it pushes too much down, it's not pushing down. It's not pushing down.
It's not pushing down. It's not pushing down. 24, what the f Bro, 25,000. Bro, I don't know how much longer I can hold this. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm being extra greedy right now. This is an $8,000 trade. I'm up 26,000. I'm being extra greedy right now. 27,000. 28,000. 29,000. 20, 29,000. 30,000. I got to close it. I got to close it. 30,000. 31. I have to. I don't need more than that. I don't need more. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. All the kills. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. 31,000. I'm okay with that. I know I said I'll wait till, 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 what's it called? But I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm okay with 31,000. This was an $8,000 freaking trade. <sighs> Bro, this is what's a crazy, 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 crazy trade. I'm proud of myself because I held it way longer than I said I would have. Well, I, 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 I stuck to my rules. That's why, bro, I tell my students this all the freaking time. That's why you you hold it with the high Kanashi candlesticks. Hold it for that extra money. I would have closed it at $8,000. Instead, I made $31,000. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. This, I'm waking up early every day. I promise you, I'm waking up early every day. I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning if that's what this does for me every time. All right, that's the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. We was able to bag $31,000. Originally, this was supposed to be an $8,000 profit trade, but I held it using my Hakanasi strategy. Like I said, if you guys want to learn how to trade just like me, if you want to learn all my strategies, or if you're completely new and don't know anything about trading, hit the link inside the description down below. I'll also leave it inside the comment section down below. And you'll be able to learn exactly how I trade my strategies, how you can implement them for yourself, when you should hop into the trades, when you shouldn't hop into the trades. It's just absolutely freaking amazing. My students are the best. You get access to the Discord when you when you become a student of mine. The Discord is literally like the best. You can ask anybody any questions, and everybody is super helpful. We're all in there making money. We're all in there learning. I'm actually about to do a thousand dollar giveaway today um, for my students inside the Discord. So I would suggest you. Actually, I'm going to do it tomorrow on Saturday. So you have time to become a student and get access to be able to um, get that thousand dollar giveaway. But that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up on Instagram over there at Juvenile underscore. You can DM me. I try to answer all DMs as long as you're not asking me to for me to send you like a hundred dollars just randomly. I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? But if you have any trading questions, hit me up there. Or if you have more questions about the course, hit me up there and I will try and answer them as much as possible. But that is the end of the video. If y'all enjoyed it, I appreciate if you smash the like button and subscribe because I got certified bangers coming out 24 seven, but you already knew that. You know what I'm saying? But I wish you all the best with your trading, with your family, with your, your relationship with God, with your relationship with your yeah, deadbeat dad. Uh, I, I wish you the best in life overall. And I'm see you on the next video.